Hey guys, welcome back to Pinching Pennies with Priscilla, and I'm going to have to span across my table to show you guys what I picked up early, early, early a.m. from Walgreens. So I'm going to have to go across my table because I can't step back because the wall is behind me. So I'm just going to have to go across the table and show you everything that I picked up, okay? All right, so I could not sleep, you guys. I guess I had so much adrenaline from running around today, um, yesterday, um, that I was up pretty much all night. And so, since I wasn't sleepy and I knew my transportation would be limited throughout the week, going back and forth to work with my husband, um, I decided to just get up and go up to Walgreens since I hadn't been to Walgreens to do my couponing. So I decided to go ahead and get that out of the way since I knew I wouldn't be able to get it done throughout the week. So, and you'll see from my receipt what time I went back out. Look at that. 2.55 a.m. is when I started. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and guess where I am today? Home. Because I was too tired to go to work. So here we go. My first transaction is this now while i was sitting here last night i decided to go on veda's blog which is saving with veda she's the one who put out the information on the chick deal and um i noticed on her blog she had this particular item as one of the items that you could use as a substitute for that um pure absorb so there were two items that walgreens was using you could either get this one right here or you can get that um, iron supplement that I showed you guys in my other video, the one in the red box. So the reason why I chose this one is because this one had a coupon. So Veta also had a coupon that was linked in her blog as well where you get $2 off of this one. So, of course, I decided to go for the one that gives me $2 off, which is less money out of my pocket. So, and if you want to um, find the link for that, Go on to savingwithveta.com. That's saving with veta, v e t t a dot com, and um, you'll see the posting regarding these and the link for the coupon. All right, so there's a two dollar coupon for this one. So I started off my transactions with this one, of course, and here's my receipt. And you'll see that um, I used, I took the $2 off with that manufacturer coupon. So I paid a total of 8 bucks. I did not start off with any rewards, so I had to pay the $8 out of pocket. And yeah, I know I had those rewards from yesterday, the ones where I picked up the um, iron supplements in the red box. But because I'm going to be returning all of those, I did not want to use that $10 um, reward that I had from that. Okay, So I paid the $8 out of pocket. Now on to the transaction two. I got the blink tears and the St. Joseph. Here's my receipt. So you see the blink tears there and the St. Joseph. I used the $10 from transaction one to pay for that. So my total is zero. Now at this point, I don't know what's going on with my brain. I'm not remembering to use my coupon for the blink. So as you can see, I did not use my coupon on there. Yeah, <laughs> so rolling over to transaction three, I have the iron supplement again. Now, because I'm using my $2 coupon here, I have to add back in $2 in order to use the $10 from here. So I got an $8 reward from this and a $2 from this, and so I need to have $10 worth of items. Using the coupon to take $2 off of this, now I have to add in $2 to use that um, reward. Um, so I added in these, and my whole thought behind this was I would do these little bags for the kids for Valentine's Day. So these bags are four for a dollar. These little cute bags right here. So I got four of those. So that's a dollar. And then these were three for a dollar. So I got three of those. So that included an additional two dollars, made the whole total ten. So here's my receipt. Okay. Now my Subtotal was zero. My taxes was twelve cents. Now I rolled the ten dollars that I got back from here, which I'm getting from this, onto this transaction here, where I got the blink in the St. Joseph's. Now I remembered to use my coupon. 
For some reason, I could not find my dollar and fifty cents coupons. I think I must have printed them out at work and left them on my desk. So I had to go on to um, Veta's site and print out the one dollar coupons. So I had the one dollar coupon off of the blink. The St. Joseph's was two dollars. So I had to add in a dollar because of that coupon. So I got these two that were two for a dollar. Here's my receipt. And you see my subtotal is zero. So I got $10 back from here. So I got eight from this and two from this. So I rolled that $10 over here. Again, same thing. I got this, used the $2 um, coupon. I had to add back in $2 in order to use the 10. And so these were two for a dollar. These were two for a dollar. That's my $2. And here's my receipt. And my subtotal is zero. And I paid 12 cents in taxes. Rolling the $10 from this one over to this one, again, same transaction. I got the dollar items here, $2, $8. Um, I took a dollar off that one, so I had to add that in. So here's my receipt. And as you can see, my subtotal is zero, and I paid six cents in taxes. So rolling the $10, eight and two, from here over here, again, I got the iron supplement. Um, use the $2 coupon on that, making that $8. Head back, add back in $2. So this is two, and that's, I mean, I'm sorry. This is two for a dollar, two for a dollar. That makes this transaction $10. So I used the $10 from the previous transaction. Here it is. My subtotal is zero. Sell tax is 12. And here I wrote that $10 again, and I did the same thing. You guys see what I did. And subtotal zero. Sales tax is six. And then on my last transaction, um, I had all these candies that, I, especially these little heart lips things here. It's got the lips and it's got the little candy thing on the back. I really wanted to get these for the kids' bags, so I did this transaction of purely candy. So I got these three hearts. These are three for a dollar. These were 99 cents each. So remember, I'm working with $8, I mean $10 I got from here. So that's a dollar. Two, three, four, five, and then the cups were. Let's look at the receipt. <laughs> I can't remember. Here's that receipt right there. You see the 99 cents items. You see the uh, three hearts there. And you see the cups right down here at the bottom. And my subtotal was, what's that, nine cents? And with taxes, I paid a total of $0.38 cents for that transaction. So that's what I did, you guys. Those are all of my transactions. I used up all of my rewards. I kept rolling, rolling, and rolling my rewards. And I want to thank Black... Who was it? I'm saying Black Star. I think it was 29 Luana. 29 Luana. I basically pretty much copied what she did. I saw her video late, 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 late. Or early in the morning, I was watching her video and she had, you know, she'd be tweaking those transactions. So I followed exactly what she did. I added a few things a little different as far as my extras here. But basically, I went by what she did and how she broke them down. And that's why I was able to pay pennies for each transaction. So thank you so much, 29 Luana. The girl knows how to get that stuff for less than 50 cents. She said... Yeah, Greg, she got it for less than 50 cents. <laughs> so that's my transactions for Walgreens. Feel free to follow exactly what I did if you want to or check out 29 Lawana and check out what she did. But thank you so much, um, 29 Lawana. Oh, my gosh. You tweaked and twerked this deal, and I came out paying pure pennies. That is what I'm talking about. Girl, I'm getting on the bandwagon with this less than 50 cents. She does not like to pay more than 50 cents a transaction. Yeah. So that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Y'all know I'm going to go outside and hit up CVS again because I actually stayed home today. So thanks for watching, you guys. Happy shopping. Happy savings. Bye.